What's up guys, Shane here. Welcome to Spare Change. Here on the channel, you'll find home theater related videos as well as reviews for media content for the home theater and movie enthusiast. So if you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button. In for review today, we have Deadpool 2 on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not gonna review the movie, I'm just gonna share with you my thoughts on the video and audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 3.4K, 35 millimeter. It's got a 2K DI. It's rated R, where on time is 119 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by one. So yes, there are black bars if you're watching on a television. All right, now after finishing the iTunes digital stream, I found the image quality on the 4K Blu-ray to be slightly cleaner and tighter with no posterization anywhere. Now, if you're planning on enjoying a double feature with Deadpool 1 playing first, I think you'll notice a big difference on how both movies look as I thought the first movie was reference quality. It was extremely sharp and had a nice clean and bright image. The second movie was sharp, but not quite to the same level as the first one. Overall, there's a touch of softness to the image, but the close up and tight shots do exhibit some very nice, fine nuanced details, most noticeable in Deadpool's costume. You can make out very clearly the red pebble texture, the stitching, and just how dirty and worn his costume really is. The CG rendering on Colossus is another great example of how clean the 4K Blu-ray can look. The different metallic shades of silver and grays look very realistic and blended in with the live action extremely well, though there are other CG moments that don't work quite as well. HDR usage here gives those primary colors a deeper level of saturation, and those spectral highlights from the explosions in Chapter 14's jail scene does have some bright pop. Now this movie won't be an HDR showcase, as I found the look of Deadpool 2 to be somewhat muted, so it's not a bright nor vibrant presentation. Black levels can be solid, with a fair bit of contrast in some of the darker sequences, but I thought they leaned more on the lighter and more grayish side. HIT IT! Audio was done in Dolby Atmos, and I thought there was a decent amount of overhead effects. Soundstage was noticeably wider than the digital stream, with very good ambiance within all 11 speakers, like the rain in Chapter 2. The highway scene is another standout here, with cars whizzing from front to back within the lower speakers, and the truck flipping overhead in Chapter 21. Bass response hit hard and had a good amount of low and rumble in certain moments, but I found it mostly underwhelming for the most part. The musical soundtrack was also a highlight, with Dolly Parton filling in all 11 speakers in Chapter 1, and dialogue was always clean and clear, even during the heavy action scenes. So for audio, I'm gonna go with an 8.6. Atmos effects did kick in during the action moments and the musical mix sounded great as well. I just would have liked a little bit more aggressive use of bass seeing how it is a big action movie. For video, I'm gonna go with an 8.6 as well. I do prefer this over the digital stream, but I thought black levels were a bit weak. And yes, there are some great 4K sharp and detailed shots, but I found the overall look was kind of soft. Now, if you're watching this on say a 65 inch display or smaller, it may look great. But if you're watching on something larger, the softness does become more apparent. Now this is a fun movie and the 4K Blu-ray is clearly the best way to watch it for image and sound quality. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick up this disc. I'm also having a giveaway for the digital code on my Patreon page if you want to enter. And yes, it's free. Give us a like if you found the video useful and be sure to check out our social media links. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys again in the next video.